Hi Zoe, where are we? We are in Basingstoke at the dog show. <laughs> What are you doing? Benny's painting! So you got quite a busy weekend, haven't you? Uh, I do today. This is the first of three events bookings I have today. Uh, after this I'll be off to the Lakeside Steam Railway event. And then later on, much later on tonight, I'll be at Revolution Southampton Nightclub. Nightclub face painting, that sounds pretty cool, yeah? It is, they've got a um, circus theme, so I've put some circus designs to the board. So how's this event been Zoe? It's been good, it's been one of my quietest events I've probably ever done but um, it's not quiet enough that you don't make any money, it's pretty good. We've had a couple of teenagers, young teens in with something small and um, the dog face paint popular because we're at a dog show. Do you want to take us through your setup for today? Yeah sure, we'll start this end of the table. So headband for people with long hair wipes for mistakes, a mirror, the customer will always want to see their finished products, they always have a mirror with it. Obviously all the paints here, they're mostly the colours that um, relate to the designs on my board. Obviously we've got our split cake sushi cakes, sponges, these I keep very close to me, this is for line work, so any line work, white, black, it's right here. Most of the bases are white, so I keep a big white by me as well. Then obviously you have your cups of water, brushes, I can never have too many brushes, it's always good to have a good variety. And there's a put a brush holder in there today, they're the ones I've already used, so they're the popular brushes as it may. And of course, a seating area for them to sit on. I like a nice tool stool, um, probably because I just like to work stood up. Some face painters like to sit down, um, but I do like to stand up when I'm painting faces. And you've prepared some designs for your gig later tonight? Yes, I actually have three events today. This is the first one here in Basingstoke. The second one is over, over to the Eastley Steam Railway event. So that's going to be fun. And then later on, much later on tonight, I am face painting at Revolution Nightclub in Southampton. They have a circus theme on tonight. So I've put in a couple of um, circus type designs, a couple of clowns. Here. and obviously there's always a tiger at the circus, there's a, like a Mardi Gras mask top design as well and um, with that I've used them today so I can get a bit of practice in for tonight so I can learn um, obviously techniques that I've done, speed and colour. So do you often prepare special designs for certain events? I, I do like to because that way you can see you've, you've gone to the effort to cater for their theme. So most carnivals will have a theme. Uh, I think this year's, my local one, it's uh, movies and musicals. So I probably do um, a design or two. It doesn't have to be a whole board, but to put just the one or two designs on there so you've gone to the effort to match the theme will really pay off. It's always handy to do um, a part of your design on yourself because that, that way you're a walking advertisement for the event um, which really helps. And obviously when you've got little ones running around they'll spread the word as well but it does help to have yourself done up. Alright, so not only are you promoting yourself by having a design on your face, but it's also good to have business cards and leaflets at the ready. For, so obviously you have parents waiting in the queue, so it's something for them to look at. I have two different types of cards. There's one just mainly for face painting, so there's events such as christenings, weddings, open days, hen nights, stag do's. And then there's also ones for children's parties as well, because I'm also available for that. Where I'd still face paint, but there's the option to have party games, circus workshop, kids karaoke, um, events like that. I uh, have leaflets as well. I tend not to have them out at festivals because they are so busy. Um, 
but these these you can put a few out for people to take because they're a lot bigger and people just do sometimes prefer a leaflet compared to a business card so they're always handy as well and also I always carry this folder around with me it has my insurance documents in it so um, that's always good because you never know when the uh, organizer might just ask to see your certificate and it's there on you also in here I've got my calendar here so if by chance someone actually just wanted to make a booking as they've seen enough here they're impressed and they'd like to make a booking for a party or an event then I can take a look right here in my calendar and sort that out rather than them going on the website when they get home but um, that's the uh, advantage of business cards the websites on there so if they're still impressed with what they've seen they can go home and investigate a little bit more <laughs> So at some of your events there'll be like another face painter that's either free or really cheap. How do you kind of compete with that? Um, try not to let it deter you. Um, stay focused and like you need, you're providing quality at the end of the day for your prices. So for example I'm charging £4 a face today and there's another face painter only charging £2. When you compare quality um, you can see a difference so don't let it deter you. Keep focused, quality and people will pay your, the price you're charging. Zoe, where are we? We're at East East Steam Railway in Lakeside. Hey, what are you doing? Face painting. <laughs> Has it been busy so far? It has actually. We've got a few Hello Kitties walking around. It's popular with the girls. A Spider Man and spiders. Yeah, the boys do differentiate from the girls. Um, it's good fun. <laughs> How did you get this event? They found me through my website. All oh, right. Do you get a lot of your events through your website? I do actually. Yeah, because we're on the website for the contact form. They can just fill it in and put their inquiry in there, and it goes a magic button sends it straight to my emails, and I can reply from there. How was that day? You were done. That was good fun. Yeah, it was great. It was lovely, which always helps. It's a little bit windy at the moment, so we're going to pack up and head on home, ready for the next event. So a cup of tea and a biscuit, and then off we go again.
Good night. Yes, it was great. It was really hot. It's 20 past midnight. It's time for another cup of tea. And there 